Hello, I'm Brett Bowers, and I'm going to show you how to filter a solution today. Okay. Okay, so before you get started with gravity filtration, make sure you have a filter paper with your name on it and pencil. Don't use pen, use pencil. Um, also, make sure you have your regular lab safety stuff, closed toed shoes, an apron, and some goggles. Uh, through gravity. Um, so, necessary supplies, you're going to want a ring stand. Uh, two beakers, one of them filled with the mixture. Uh, you need a clay triangle, some filter paper, a funnel, of course, and some distilled water. So first off, you are going to take the filter paper, fold it in half, so you have half filter paper, and fold that in half again. All right, now you're going to open it back up, but make sure you don't up, but make sure you don't open it like this or else you won't be able to filter all the way through. You need to open it up so that there's one side of filter paper on right there and then three sides on this side. So then you're going to take that and put it in your funnel. And also we're using a filtering funnel today. It's got these spirals and that makes it easier to filter. So we put that in there. Now you take this and put the clay triangle on the ring stand and put the funnel in the clay triangle. Take some of your solvent, wet the filter paper, and that helps it stick to the um, funnel. Yeah. All right, so when you have this set up, make sure that your funnel uh, touches the beaker like about an inch below the uh, rim of the beaker. So we're going to start filtering the solution. Um, you want to pour using the stirring rod so that it has a nice even flow and it goes down in there very easily. When you pour, you want to make sure that, your, that the line of your mixture never goes above the line of the filter paper because then it can go on the outside and not filter through. So when you make sure you do that, and slowly this is going to filter through and you should have a clear solution on the bottom. Alright, so we're going to come back the next day and your filter paper will be dry. You can also leave it out on a paper towel overnight and it will dry. Um, you can take this out or if it's already on your paper towel you can take it off and um, you can weigh this. Um, you can identify it because your name should be written. Um, so you can put that on the uh, weight and the whole weight minus the original weight of the filter paper, which you should have recorded in the beginning. So at the bottom here, you're going to have a pretty clear solution that was your solvent and what's left over. And then just remember to clean up your supplies. So you stay classy, Mr. Elegante's class.